Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. Can you do, can you do extra arm work on rest days? Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas, I turn into videos just like this. All right, that's the simple question. That's the basic question. I'm going to show you why it's a toxic mindset, right? I'm going to show you why just thinking about this question is absolutely the wrong question to ask. It is a toxic mindset. It is distracting you from what you need. And it is counterproductive to muscle building. Here's why. You're like, come on, man. It's just a little extra arm work on the rest days. What harm could it do, big, hairy, ugly dude? <clears throat> it's not that adding arm work on rest days is counterproductive. Here's where the toxic mindset comes in. You shouldn't be, like, if you can get to rest day and you're like, oh, I feel great. I have tons of energy and I'm not sore and I don't need recovery after two or three days of working out in a row. I don't need recovery. I feel great. Let's go into the gym and do extra arm work. Here's a news flash for you. If you can do arm work on rest day, you're not fucking working hard enough during your, your fucking workouts to begin with. You don't need arm work on rest day. You need to find a way to actually get some fucking something out of your regular workouts. You, you need to go into the gym and just stop doing sets and reps of exercises and actually find a way to challenge your fucking self so you don't fucking want arm work on rest days. You should be so fucking tired sore that you're like, thank fucking God, there's a rest day because that's what rest days are for kids. That's what rest days are for. If you have the energy, if you have the energy to go in and actually do arm work on rest day, you're not building shit. You're not building shit and you might as well just go fuck off and do something else. That's the bottom line. The point in lifting isn't just to say, oh, I worked hard today. You know how many people tell me worked uh, that, you know how many people tell me they worked hard or they're working hard or their workout was good? You know what? You know, one of the things that triggers me when someone says, my workout was good. Like, I know your workout wasn't good because you're not building fucking muscle. I know you're not working hard because you're not building fucking muscle. If your workout was good, you would be building muscle. If you were working out hard, you would be building a muscle. Do you need an extra arm day on rest day? No, because you're not working hard and your workout wasn't good and you need to go in tomorrow when it's a normal workout day and find a way to work out fucking hard and find a way to really fucking work out good. Then you won't need a fucking arm work. You won't need to add arm work on rest day or chest work on rest day or ab work on rest day. Now, what I'm trying to do is help you and might sound like I'm being a little sarcastic, a little, little bit sar just turn up the sarcasm knob a little bit today and I am because I want to help you guys. The, the bottom line is you got to find a way to get more out of your, out of your workouts. Okay. The job isn't to punish yourself. Okay. The job isn't to beat the living shit out of your body, but the job is to work as hard as you can on the sets you have. And that should leave you to, with some degree of mental fatigue, physical fatigue, and maybe even a degree of soreness where it's time to recover, where I can tell a little bit, I've been going hard, I've been mentally pushing everything, this has mentally been a little bit of a struggle, physically been a struggle, I need a rest day. You know what, I do this in lifting. That's why I need a fucking rest day. I can't lift more than two days in a row because I feel sluggish on the third day because I'm actually working hard and my workouts were actually good. Same thing with running. If I run two days in a row, on the third day, I need rest because I'm running hard and my run was good. So I want you guys to remember this. This is a litmus test. 
If you can get to rest day and you don't feel mentally and physically like you need a rest day, if your body doesn't feel like maybe I need a rest day, it's, it's, I'm feeling a little down, I'm feeling a little tired, you're probably not working hard enough. And working hard enough starts, the cornerstone of it, is having a progressive overload approach and applying it week in and week out and week in and week out until the works feel until the until the weights feel fucking heavy. And then you continue to apply it week in and week out and week in and week out till they feel real fucking heavy. And then you continue to apply it week in and week out and week in and week out till things are fucking super heavy. That's how it works. That's progressive overload. The way it works in the for the average individual. I'm gonna, I got a progression approach, approach, week in and week out, oh, oh, my toe hurts, I'm gonna step back, deload, reload, unload, or, ah, uh, I just had a bad workout, I moved up and, and weighed and my reps dropped, something's wrong, let me just fuck around for a while, no, so guys, take home message, arm work on rest day, hell fucking no, make your workouts good, and start working harder with the workouts you have so guys hope this video has been of some help if you have any questions or comments drop them down below if you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel please do i'd appreciate the support so guys as always thanks for watching have a great day